Hello. It's Doc Physics back again. This is an LED in my bathroom with the door shut. No windows in here, it's nice and dark. That LED is indicating that my ground fault circuit interrupter outlet is on and protecting the circuit. It's a GFCI. That's not the subject of our video. The LED isn't even really the subject of our video, but the first bit of physics that I want to show you is that that LED is flashing. And you can see that as I move the camera a little bit faster from side to side. Uh, <laughs> it's, not a, um, it's not a symptom of the uh, video taking, but rather a fact that that LED is sometimes off that allows you to see multiple uh, images of that rectangular light. Now, what's interesting, what brought me into the bathroom for this uh, is that, uh, why did you go to the bathroom, Doc? Well, I'll tell you, I um, went to the bathroom because I saw this in the bathroom mirror. And so that is really, really cool. If I put it down at the bottom of the screen, then it doesn't... Um, try to fill in the brightness. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to zoom in a bit more. And um, in person, I see four of those lights. Not one, not two, not three. You can see the one on the left just barely. That's the one that shows up pretty well in person as well. So uh, what's going on here? Well, there's light coming from the LED into the mirror and then uh, coming back at the camera. And that's why that brightest one is there. That light is very likely going through the glass of the mirror. Now, see, a mirror has a silvered surface and then glass on the top of it. So the brightest one, which I'll call dot three, starting from the left, it's the third one that I see, that one is the vast majority of the signal, right? And I think that's coming from the light from the LED hitting the, going through the glass, hitting the silvered back surface of the glass, and then going through the glass again, and uh, coming to the camera through the, the air. Uh, <clears throat> now, what about the one on the right? That's what I'll call dot four. It, it, that one appears closer uh, to the actual LED than um, the primary one. So I think that one's formed by, oh yeah, this, this makes a ton of sense, in fact. That one's formed by the light from the LED hitting the top surface of glass and reflecting uh, directly into the camera. And so you could get an estimate of the um, relative reflectivity of the, um, the mirrored back surface compared to the glass by looking at how much brighter the third dot is than the fourth dot. Now, what about the second dot? That one appears to be the similar brightness uh, to, the, um, to the fourth dot. So let's try to reason through that one. I'm guessing that that one may be uh, light coming into, from the LED obviously, through the glass, hitting the reflective back surface of the glass, and then hitting the glass again and not exiting. I think it bounces back in to the mirror hits the back surface again, and then leaves. That's my hypothesis about dot two. Now, dot one, which is super faint, it's probably an order of magnitude fainter than dot two and dot four, uh, and, and sometimes doesn't even appear on that there. You can kind of get a glimpse of it. It doesn't appear on this camera. But um, dot, oh yeah, you get it maybe a little bit more right there. There, dot, dot one, I believe, is light coming from the LED, hitting the, uh, going through the glass, hitting the reflective back surface of the glass, then hitting the 
front surface of the glass and internally reflecting, and then hitting the back surface of the glass and obviously reflecting again, and then hitting the front surface of the glass and internally reflecting one more time, and then going back uh, into the glass, hitting the back reflective surface, and then finally exiting the glass. So this is a recursive relationship, and there really is an infinite series of rectangles over to the left that become successively more and more <laughs> dim by the factor, whatever the factor is is that um, dot two is dimmer than dot three. That is, um, that is multiplied, it is uh, raised to a power, and each successive rectangle to the left gets dimmer and dimmer. Anyway, I really like this, and also, let's see, you can see that it's flashing on and off in these reflections as well. Okay, bye.